Hi everyone, welcome back. I have a package here from Kiki K. It's been a long time since I got a Kiki K package, but they reached out and um, asked me if I'd be interested in taking a look at their new, I believe, diaries of what we're going to find in this box. So, ooh, did you see that? <laughs> Let's see what's in here. I haven't really, wow, I haven't really um, seen a lot online, so um, let's take everything out and remove the box and we'll take a look at things one by one. I guess we're going to look at this one first since it's right on top. Wow, it looks big, right? It looks bigger than a normal A5. Here's our note, very pretty paper. Desley, we hope you love these goodies as much as we do. Much love, Kiki K. It's very pretty paper, a note from you at the top there. And obviously you can see this is a patterned A5 planner, maybe um, a bit bigger than A5 in overall dimensions. I'm gonna have to grab one to compare. Okay, so uh, I was thinking it's not bigger when I first grabbed this pink one. This is my favorite all-time planner, but actually it is. You can see here, it's a little bit wider here, getting a bit closer to A5 wide size perhaps. Pretty much the same height, just a teeny bit taller. Like, and you can see here, it's quite a bit wider. Okay, I'll put my Thrive Pink Lavender to the side and let's take a look at this beauty. I feel like it's called Indigo. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's open it up. Wow. So it says on the, ta on the tag here, space to write, think and create a place for secrets, notes, lists and plans. And this is the Greenwich Time Planner A5 2023 in Indigo. And I think that's the color of these... Um, illustrations here. It retails for $99, so a bit more than the old Kiki K planners used to be. You can see that there's a very different uh, closure than usual. This very big one, that's kind of a bit cool, very different. Oh, and the illustration continues on the inside, and it does have the two closures for us to be able to really chunk it up if we wanted to. So I guess if we were chunking it up, then it would bring the planner back to a similar size to the other one because you would have a thicker planner this way so the spine would be a lot thicker. It does look like there's a lot of room there for the planner to grow. Okay this just fell out. It's the usual I'm unique although it does look a little different to the old one. Handmade with love so no two planners are the same. To continue loving your Kiki K planner for years to come it's best to avoid prolonged exposure to the elements or placing your planner on harsh surfaces as this may scratch or damage the interior. To keep it clean, simply wipe it with a cloth. Oh, and quite uh, a long um, explanation inside here of the warranty. And then the how to open your planner on the back. All right, we'll leave that for the moment and let's have a look. I'm keen to see what this looks like inside. Oh, wow, okay. This is quite different, isn't it? Different to the old style. Um, okay, first thing I'm noticing is there's this little plus sign embossed here. That's a bit cute. Um, and I'm wondering what that means. But we have these super wide pockets, really wide pockets that take up the whole width of this secretarial here. So we've got a big pocket here, another one that's deeper here, and then the really deep one, it does go all the way down secretarial pocket and you can see that this um, continues inside here the pattern the uh, I'm gonna tear this off because I'm gonna delve into this planner in detail okay so the lining here is fabric and it's black with a tone on tone black cross so similar to this cross here let's just go to the back of the planner and we see the Kiki K is uh, debossed here um, at the back in the usual place. The illustrations are very pretty. I'm kind of a bit into line art at the moment. Um, 
and we have an elastic ring, uh, elastic pen loop here as well. I'm really drawn to this dashboard, it's very pretty. Let's cut this open. And as you can see, we have this pattern dashboard. It's frosted plastic, it has calendar written on it here at the top. And in fact, all of the um, dividers have words on them, so or pictures as it turns out. So let's have a look at what they look like as we go through. So this is really quite lovely, this stash, and it's got just a couple of hints of yellow throughout, as does the planner itself. You can see there's a couple of hints of yellow there as well. So we have gold rings, and they look good, and they look big. Like they look like big rings, much bigger than the usual. I'm not sure if they are. I'll check and find out and I'll let you know maybe on the screen. Alright so that's a beautiful dashboard. Um, I guess it's definitely not minimal at this point right we've got quite a busy pattern going on and it's a time planner so it is a 2023 planner uh, which means it will be dated. Oh and so inside a little bookmark we have three things I will achieve this year. We have a ruler on the side here as well and then a back on the back it says a glimpse of what's to come which is what it says here as well so that seems to be perhaps the theme okay so let's have a look at this we've got maybe 80 GSM paper it's not like super super um, thick paper but you know I'm thinking in planners these days it's not so necessary to have very thick paper except for bleed through and ghosting um, because the more thick the paper the heavier the planner gets so you know there's two ways of looking at that these days I think. So we have the gift for planner lovers here we have uh, a QR code to get there and then here we have um, a public holidays available by via the QR code as well so rather than having the lists quite interesting um, this is a paper on the back here with those illustrations again and this is intriguing me 2023-2024 so it must be an 18 month diary let's find out I'm not sure so here we have the year two years at a glance very very pretty it's a blue text if you can hopefully you can make that out I might zoom us in just a squidge squidge <laughs> is that a word so you can see a bit more clearly. So we have from January 2023 through to December 2024. And then we have a perpetual calendar. Quite similar to what we see in the cousin. And I think that's why I thought this planner was so big. I'm so used to the cousin size. And you know the cousin size is just the size of the paper. So it's a bit different to see it as um, this full sized planner. So we have um, the days of the week down the side with the dates as well and we've got January through June on the first spread and then July through to December on the second spread and that's for 2023 and then we have our closed, closed off of that section with the illustrations again and now we're moving into monthlies. Oh and the monthlies are quite pretty and minimal as well. So we've got Monday start, Monday through Sunday kind of grayed out, let's say washed out where the previous month was and then we have the 1st of January starting on a Sunday going through till the 31st here. Cute little illustrations. We've got a little plus sign grid across the bottom rather than a dot and we've got a space for notes down the side. I have to say this is quite a nice minimal layout and seems expansive like it seems there's a decent amount of room there so um, that's nice to see. Okay so we're doing all of our months here in the calendar section we've got yearly and monthly so we've got February the illustrations are moving on each page very pretty it's quite a delicate while a bit busy, um, it is a delicate um, spread. 
December 2023 and the closure. And then we have another frosted dash. These frosted dashes are beautiful. And it says week on this one. And we have our Monday through Sunday here. And we have a vertical layout. This is interesting. So 1st of January is on the Sunday here. Bit of deco, notes section, and then the grid at the bottom as well. So let's see, we could do a timed layout here of your appointments. You could have to-dos, meals, bills, happy mail, um, all that kind of stuff across the bottom. I quite like it actually. <laughs> so this must just have all of the, I'm going to just flick actually, let's flick. We've got January, February, March, April, May, etc. So November through to December. December 31st is on a Sunday as well. And then we close and start the today section. So here we have another one of the dividers. I think they must be exactly the same. Oh no, they are different. The illustrations are in different places. So they're not exactly the same. Okay, so we have what's a page called Good Day with a little illustration at the top there. We've got lines here and we've got our by now familiar cross or plus sign um, grid on the side, which is kind of cool. Nice to divide it up. You might want to put notes here and then to do's here or something like that. Uh, the reverse page has the flower instead of the leaf. Very nice. We've got a nice chunk of those. And then we move into a section called meetings. So, oh, this is a nice layout. So we have at the top subject slash purpose, date, time and attendees, a section here for notes and then a section here for actions. And that's kind of exactly how I run my page in my cousin actually. Very similar to that. Um, actions usually in this corner but otherwise the same kind of concept I think a lot of us probably work that way okay so that's our meeting notes we've got the little flower here and and here kind of similar spots and if we have a decent amount of those as well then we move into this section which just has the illustration continued into the tab so you could tab this yourself I guess and this is blank paper with a flower in the bottom corner and flower in the top corner on the back page. So you can see they are pretty decent amounts of pages uh, for each of those sections. And then the very last section, one, two, three, four, five, six, a normal Kiki K planner will have seven. So we've reduced to six and I think six is probably a good number. Uh, we have our grid paper here with the two florals on there. I'm gonna to have to look this up and find out what paper this is. Okay, so I have some details here. This is 100 GSM paper and it's white and it is actually very white. I'll show you something else shortly which isn't white. It has 12 dated monthlies, 53 dated weeklies, 15 daily notes sheets. I'll just might go back to those. So 15 of these daily notes sheets 15 of the meeting notes sheets, 15 of the lined sheets, and 15 of the connector grid notes. These are, they're calling these connector grid notes. Now what's interesting is right at the back, we don't have a page lifter, unfortunately, that would be nice to have. We have a notebook in the back, and I'm not sure if you can tell that that notebook is perhaps a little, well, it is a little smaller, than the page and I can see we've got stickers here I must come back to that so this is actually a b6 notebook it's 20 there are 20 pages here of b6 note paper with the little illustrations across the top and I've just read that these are the birth month flowers so that's very nice January February March April May June July August that's me September October November December that's quite a lovely concept, isn't it? All right, let's move back to 
uh, the last of the connector grid pages we now have our um, stickers and I forgot that these even usually come with the planner we have payday me time travel exercise party and to do and these oh and some blanks at the bottom these look like they are clear sticker paper so they will just sit nicely over those spare tabs if you wanted to use some of these for those particular sections I'm not sure if you would and then we have the little things some tabs here as well clear tabs uh, blank I should say tabs and then we've got some icons with coffee cups conversations people cheers birthday envelopes folders lots of yeah these are actually quite quite useful I think so those are the stickers in the back so I don't know I think this is pretty cool I haven't had a new Kiki K planner since the um, black luxury one that they sent me last year and it's it is beautiful but this is such a different design I'm really quite intrigued by these pockets um, you know it's a bit different to how we're all used to having pockets but what I like about it is that it gives you a decent amount of room to fit things in you know I've got um, this A5 piece of paper here so not quite fitting in there but um, pretty close so if I just fold that to A6 you can see how much space I'll just give that sticky tape you can see how much space you really have here to put things. It's really good size to be able to store papers and stamps and stickers and receipts, you know, all those kind of things when you're on the go. So look, I'm quite intrigued by this one. Um, it's quite pretty. Uh, I'm not sure it's quite my style with the, such a busy cover. However, having said that, most of my covers at the moment are very busy, so perhaps. Uh, it does have the charm holder here, which is awesome. That's nice that they've included that. Love it. So there's a black elastic just at the top there that you can hang a charm off of. Awesome. That's so cool. All right. I want to have a look at what else came in the package because there's something else that might be useful for this. So they've included with this the planner diary refill for January to December. A5 size, 100 GSM, color is pale ivory, it has a year overview layout and a daily layout. So you can see it's the usual indigo. It retails for, um, for $21.99 Australian. It's quite chunky, so this kind of, let's have a look to compare. How am I going to do this? It's quite a thick collection of paper here and to compare to what came in the planner I'd say it is quite a bit more than what's in the planner already once you account for the dividers as well so let's take a look at what's in the planner diary refill um, so just a, a page to show you what it might look like so we have our 2023-2024 intro page and same as in the other planner um, the yearly spread the two years on one spread then we have January through June and July through December so that kind of perpetual calendar situation close it off with a nice backing and then we have our weekly and the weekly is starting on December 26th so I'll just flick through a few of the weeklies I mean they're all the same uh, is there something between the months there isn't so this is yearly and daily only no monthlies so that reminds me of the A6 Techo from Hobonichi right so we'll flick through all of those June, July July, August, September and then October through December let's just see if there's anything different at the back and week 52 31st, a grid page to end and then the closing page 
So this is one that gives you a yearly overview and a daily layout. That's kind of cool, yeah? All right, let's see what it looks like in the planner. Uh, I'm going to take out the pages that are already in here. I just want to get an idea for how thick this is. Can the whole thing fit in the planner? So I'm just going to see if I can manage to get a number of sheets on at once. Yes, I can. Really, the question is, are the rings big enough? Because it does seem to fit in there. I'll pop this calendar on the front. It's a shame not to use any more of the dividers, but the next one is week, and there is no weekly in here, so that's only dailies. So let's close that up. And now you can see it is a bit more a bit more chunked up than it was before. So obviously you could still put more pages at the back. Um, I'm not sure how many we could fit there. Let's let's just I'm just gonna use the weekly one just because I can. And we'll just grab these 15 note pages without the stickers. Different colour, right? Not the ivory, it's the white. So they do fit, but I reckon we're getting close to being chunky. Close to too chunky, I mean. I'm going to pop in this one as a page lifter at the back. It still does up on the tightest setting, so uh, not super super chunky but it's pretty chunky so this is a big planner though right I'm so used to small planners I've moved into ace I'm moving into a6 for 2023 so um, quite a bit different than this big one but this I do like the idea of having this sort of size to take to meetings with you I wonder also you might probably be able to fit a5 wide in here it looks like there's enough room. The um, tabs are far away from the um, closure. In fact, let me close this up again. And let's look at that. Even on the tightest setting, let's see. Yeah, you see our tabs, I don't know if you can see, but our tabs are still not even touching the um, pen loop. So, I think you could fit A5 wide in here very, very easily. So a couple of really nice options from Kiki K. I'm quite um, taken by them. They're very pretty, like super pretty. These floral illustrations using using native botanicals is really quite nice. And I love the frosted dividers. I've always been a fan of frosted dividers. Okay, so there's a couple more things that were in the box. So I might just move this guy to the side. And let's see what's next. I have two more things. First up, if you've seen the Instagram advertising, you've, you know that there's a pen in here. Um, should I spoil it for myself? No, let's open. Oh, it's a white pen. I do like a white pen. It's very cool packaging. So this is a Writer Roller Gel Pen in White. Retails for $25.99. Nice packaging. Let's grab some paper. So it's a very nice pen. You can see it has the hexagonal shape. It's got the cross on the top. So that connector grid, they're calling it. We have Kiki K on the silver clip here. Very pretty. Uh, it is a really pretty pen. Round barrel. Um, looks like I've got a bit of sticky stuff on there that comes off. Yeah, easily. Um, silver base uh, and then the round barrel at the bottom with the hexagonal at the top. It feels like it's top heavy so the lid must be heavy and it's a pull-off lid not a it's not a screw cap. 
So we have a very nice black kind of, um, I can't remember what that's called, is that called the finial? I can't remember what that's called, sorry. So it does have some weight in the pen itself and the lid is heavy too. So I do like a bit of weight to the pen, that's nice. There's no plastic bit on the bottom, so let's just try it out. That actually writes very nicely. So we have a black roller gel pen. Roller gel, is that what it said? Roller gel pen, yeah. And I do love a gel pen. I tend to use them pretty often. Zero skipping at all. Yeah, that's nice. I actually really like that pen. I think it's lovely. And I like that it's white. It goes nicely with the planner as well. Um, it does have a bit of dirt on it already, so I would just want to clean that off. But it looks like it cleans pretty well, so a um, bit of sticky residue on the lid there. Probably had a price tag on it, I suspect. Okay, so there's there's the writing. It looks pretty good, I think. That, that ink is pretty nice. Okay, last thing is this. I don't even know what this is. It says gallery cards. Ah, oh, so they're monthly cards. I love this elastic. Definitely using this again. You could use that to keep a planner closed, like a book planner closed. Cool. And we have this kind of vellum, uh, let's say, belly band. Let's take that off. So it says Mini cards, 59 by 92 millimeters, 300 GSM wood free paper, color pale ivory, wooden stand, color natural. So um, it's this beautiful little box, which I will definitely be reusing. And inside we just have 12, I'm assuming. So, okay, let's start from the wooden base. So I have the little wooden base, reminiscent of their quote card bases they used to have. We have a beautiful card. It's very textured, like um, like a textured cardstock. It's really lovely, actually. It's the indigo print. We've got one through 31. And for January, on the back, it says Hibertia, which must be the floral emblem for the month of January. Courage, power, and passion. Oh, I really like that concept. That's so nice. February, we have... Uh, Brachyscome, Vibrance, Abundance and Happiness. A cute little flower for February. For March we have Grevillea for Resilience, Strength and Integrity. In April we have Eremophilia for Tolerance, Patience and Acceptance. In May we have Croia for balance, grace, and excellence. And for June, we have Hardenbergia for gratitude, simplicity, and charm. It's quite lovely. <laughs> July, we have Adenanthus for prosperity, wellness, and renewal. August, which is my birth month, we have Coria. For loyalty, love, and persistence. In September, we have Eucalyptus for positivity, strength, and clarity. In October, we have Callistamon for focus, acceptance, and harmony. In November, we have Leptospermum for serenity, versatility, and love. And finally, December, we have Banksia for discovery, transformation, and new beginnings. Yeah, I just think that is super lovely. I love the little box that it came in as well, so you can keep, you know, the, the upcoming months in the box and just start, just have the one that is current in your little wooden stand. I think I'll be definitely using that in 2023. Okay, so that's my collection of items from Kiki K. Thank you, Kiki K, for reaching out to me and gifting me these beautiful goodies. They are super lovely, absolutely. 
Um, I didn't talk about the um, fabric or material that the platter itself is made from. Is made from. So if we have a look at this card which tells us the price tag, on the other side it says that the lining is made from a recycled plastic bottles. So that would be this black lining inside. Wow, it feels like just normal fabric to me. And I did read that the covers are PU leather, so they are not leather. Um, beautiful printing. Let's have a quick look at the stitching while we're here. It does look very neat all round. Yeah, I can't see any issues there. We've got double stitching here on the um, closure. I quite like that it's such a big chunky closure. It's a bit different to usual. Um, and I've had their PU planners before uh, and they, they hold up pretty well. I haven't had an issue with them. I've got quite a few of them up there on my shelf right now. So yes, quite in interesting little planner. Um, not a little, as I said. So this is the A5 Indigo Time Planner. It has those timed insert, not timed inserts, but dated inserts. Um, and as you saw, there are two, there are two different types of inserts. There's the ones that are for um, weekly planning. So they have these uh, vertical weekly layouts and they were the ones that had the daily planning. So we have a year, a yearly perpetual calendar followed by these pretty cool daily sections. I think these are pretty neat. Um, not sure how I feel between the ivory and the white. I mean, you could call this cream, really. It is quite creamy, I'm sure you can tell by comparing it to the white here. Um, this is a very blue toned white and then that is a stark difference to the creamy color. I've been a little bit um, used to creamy color because I use the Midori and the Hobonichi paper which in some some of those are quite creamy colored as well and the reason they tend to make planners and journals with cream colored paper I'm told is that it helps um, keeping your eyes rested because uh, stark white paper can reflect the sun quite dramatically into your eyes whereas this won't reflect it as much so it's meant to be less harsh on the eyes which is which is nice. I really like this layout I think it's pretty cool and I guess you could easily combine them together so you could have a weekly spread it'd just be a matter of because the weeks don't end in this section um, you know it's just a run on for the entire 12 months you would have only half a week in your book at some point because you're not going to fit all of this in the one planner with the rings so um, a hybrid of the two would be quite cool but then I don't know how I feel about some paper being cream and some being white so um, I don't know I think it's quite interesting I'm loving the frosted dividers I think it's a pretty cool concept I like this lining I love this new connector grid that they're using for their sort of logo I guess now apart from the Kiki K words on the back of the planner it's kind of cool a little bit different I've seen some of their other products online as well they've got their acrylic um, desk accessories I think they look pretty cool um, so yeah I think it's worth checking out Kiki K again and seeing what's what's new what's coming and um yeah a glimpse of what's to come <laughs> all right guys i hope you enjoyed thanks again to kiki k for reaching out and sending me these goodies as i said super happy to take a look at them and i think they're actually really lovely and i like that there's two sort of different options i think your um layout choices are quite nice too you especially with those meeting notes as well as the dailies as well as the um, the vertical weeklies too. I think it's kind of just a nice fresh concept for Kiki K and that's good to see. Loving these and the pen is lovely too. Okay that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think and I'll see you all again super super soon. Bye!